Good, wonderful, beautiful morning party. I see that tail going. I see it. She's like, oh, Papa, get out of my face. I would like to enjoy some snuggles from Mom. Yeah, I see that. I see that tail going. I'll give you all the snuggles. All the snuggles for Memphis. Memphis is like, I will take all of them snuggles. Oh my gosh, guys. That's like the sun. It rained for the past couple of days, but now it's nice and sunny. But it's only like 42 degrees outside, so it's deceiving. What do you think, huh? Where's your sister? Huh? Where's your sister? See, guys, she's outside. She was digging a massive hole. We should probably go check on her. You know what she hasn't had in a while? An apple. Let's see if we can find her. <laughs> hey, princess. Oh, man. You know, don't you? Can you sit? Oh, good job. Let's see. Can you? Hold on. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Don't drop the camera. Okay, this is difficult to do with just one hand. Sit. Thank you. Are you ready? Would you like this apple? Yes! Go, girl, go! There's no snow to bury it in, but I think you'll be happy anyway. He's like, I got an apple, I got an apple, I got an apple, hey, 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 hey. You're just getting one. Well, a half of one. I'm not giving you another one. You could give me another one, Mom. I would take more than one. All right, you play with your apple. Ooh, it's getting windy. We got a wind advisory happening today, so it's gonna get windy today. I swear, this dog is always living her best life. She's just sitting in one of the chairs. Look at her face. She's just sitting in one of the chairs at the table out there, living her best life. Oh, guess what? We got a box. So the next portion of today's video is sponsored by our friends at HelloFresh. Ooh, what did we get in the box this time? Ooh, we might have to make this for lunch. Creamy pesto grilling cheese tabatas, some crispy chicken and bacon alfredo, and some, ooh, crispy Frank's red hot spiced chicken. Ooh, that looks good as well. So one of the things I like about the HelloFresh boxes is all of those recipes I just showed you, everything in the box for those comes pre-portioned, which means less prep and less food waste. Let me show you what's inside the box. So as I open this box to show you guys what's inside, I also wanna let you know that nearly all of the stuff inside this box is recyclable or made out of recycled materials. So anyway, everything comes packaged in the box. You have all of the bags for each meal on top. Each one of the bags is listed for what recipe it is. And then there's this scan code, you know, in case you don't wanna use the cards. And then underneath all of that, it says, don't forget about ingredients, which may be hiding under the ice. So everything has these nice ice packs, which you can reuse these if you want. And then there's all the meats. Is this like a comparison? to how much bigger you are from the last time we got one of these boxes like a month ago. You're not gonna fit in that box for much longer, sweetheart. You're like, but look at me, I fit in this box right now. Look how cute I am. Your sister's in the box. <laughs> yeah, should we package her up and send her away? Yeah, no, I don't think so. You want out of there? Can you do it on your own? Here, we're gonna tip it over. Ready? Three, two, one. So one of the other really cool things about HelloFresh is each of these meals has a little bit of customization you can do to them. Some of them you can switch out protein. So like if you want like turkey instead of pork, some of them have options to do that. Some of them have options to switch out the sides as well. So you're always able to kind of like customize the meal to whatever fits your needs, which I thought was really cool. They even have vegetarian options as well. On each of the cards, it also lists the prep time and the cook time. So depending on how much time you have, you can kind of figure out what it is you want to make. Like this one only takes five minutes and then it's 35 minutes to cook. This one takes 10 minutes to prep and 30 minutes to cook. So you kind of get an idea of how long each meal is going to take in case you're in a hurry. So if you guys want to get your own HelloFresh box, you can go to HelloFresh com and use the code snowdogsvlogs16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Did I say that right? I did, I said it right that time. And I know I usually say stick around to see what we're gonna make for dinner, but I think we're gonna make lunch today. I think we're gonna make those cheese ciabatta sandwiches. Those look amazing. So I think that's what we're gonna make today. What are you doing, hon? <laughs> Making sure jars aren't old looking. <laughs> All right. Because, so, you know, jars last a long time. We didn't show the last time we made syrup. Uh, we got this many jars. We ran out of little jars, so then we went to big jars, and then yeah. we got other big jars and another big jar. God, that's beautiful. <laughs> it really is. I gave my mom and dad a jar this size, and I, mean, I just shipped out two jars that size. This is this is thicker, so it's harder to see through, and I don't know if you've ever noticed uh, about uh, syrup bottles, but most of them are very, I don't know if we have any, very slender. Right. Yeah. You know? Uh, but you'll notice like this is 
Here. Uh, yeah, hold it to the side. You gotta hold it this way. There you Whoa. go. And then the camera wants to focus. Behind. Yeah, on the outside. Yeah. Hold on, I'll fix it. Here, do the light here. Eh, you get the idea. So we're kind of really you just see the yard. More syrup. Yeah, we're getting ready to do probably close to the second to the last round. You think? You think we'll get another round? Uh, I don't know. We might. Uh, I mean, it's starting to get pretty warm. Yeah. The trees out at the farm have not yet budded. And it's still been freezing so. at night. So as long as it's still freezing at night, yeah. we'll see. I mean, they were the one I went to empty was literally just dripping in the right. bucket as I was emptying, and I'm like, oh, this one's pretty easy. I, I think uh, I think we did pretty good so far this year. Yeah. And we have these ones over here. Yeah, too. we have more this over is, there. That's this the, is the first year. Yeah. First year run. You can kind of see the difference <laughs> in the two colors there. But like this yeah. was the very first yep. run. Yeah, there's all three. So that's the very first run. This was the second run. This was the third run. You can kind of see the difference in color. I gotta take a picture of that. And now we're doing fourth run. See yeah. what we come up with. Dun 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 dun. It's a boiling. So we took it from almost a full pan to just a little below half. <laughs> and it's ready. So this time we got seven of these jars. No, I lied eight of those jars and then one little jar and then a little bit left that we put in the fridge and it is considerably darker <laughs> so now that we're done with maple syrup it's time to make lunch brought to you by hello fresh first step wash the produce now we're going to cut these up potatoes washed sliced and seasoned now they're going in the oven while they're cooking i mix together the sour cream and the pesto might not be the the straightest cut but at least they're both uneven on one side i've cut the cheese in half I cut the cheese cut it in half because i'm gonna grill half of this and sliced up my tomatoes cheese coated and put in the pan if you have never worked with grilling cheese before i actually have this is really cool because it doesn't actually like melt it just kind of gets all warm and gooey and doesn't like melt like normal cheese, which is which is I think is pretty cool. It smells delicious. It looks a lot bigger than it is. I mean, yeah, it, looks, um, it could be hot. <laughs> That's some flavor, right? Good stuff. Mm -hmm. It looks pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, I'm gonna eat mine now. Well, that was the perfect lunch. And now I can get ready to take Miss Kira to her trick dog classes later. If you guys want to get your own HelloFresh box, you can go to HelloFresh.com and use the code SNOWDOGSVLOG16 to get up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's vlog. All right, young lady, you stay here and hang out with Dad. And I'm going to take Kira to her last trick class. Hey, when I get home, remind me and we should show them what Kira has learned. Because I probably won't be able to film much while I'm there, but... <laughs> yeah, there's going to be a lot more of that one when you leave. So Here you go. Watch. I'll give you this camera because we'll I have my phone. It's hard to film while I'm there by myself anyway, but... Okay. You be good. You're always good. All right, I'll be back. <laughs> Mama's been gone for like two minutes. I said hi. Hi. Jeez. It's not like you're excited or anything, are ya? How excited are you? There's a whole bunch of deer. See them? There's even little babies. Oh, did you see them deer too? <laughs> They're eating food. You cannot go after them. Look at they see you. They're like, hey. We see you. See you? They're over there eating food. Oh my gosh, Kira. Kira is like, I need to go play with them. Are you gonna have a heart attack? You're okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, those deer are so close. Oh, and you don't even know what to do. So Kira graduated from trick dog classes. I got it right this time. And uh, I'm gonna try to show you guys some of the things that she learned. I might do a better video of this on the Gun to the Snow Dogs channel, but for now we're gonna see if she'll do any of the stuff. She did graduate, so we'll see. Went first. Okay. Perfect. Right, that's it. Okay, can you wave? That was really close. You gotta do two pumps. I understand. Can you wave? Ah, ah, ah. No. Sit. Can you wave? That was pretty good. Okay, can you high five? High five. I know I have cheese. High five. Yeah, that's 
pretty good too. Bow. Oh, good job. That's pretty good. Okay, can you sit? Now she can't sit pretty, so we compromise and we do milady. That's very nice. That's very nice. Lay down. Ready? Crawl. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Can you weave? Good job. Can you weave? Look right here. Good job. Can you do it again? Do one more time. Come on. Weave. One more time. She's like, no. <laughs> I'm I did still all learning. These things already. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try a really hard one now. Sit. Lay down. Lay down. Which lay down is really hard for her to start. We're gonna see if we can get her to play dead, but. See how she plants her feet? Mm -hmm. She doesn't lean to one side or the other, so it's really hard to figure out which way she's gonna go, which is also why we had a hard time teaching her rollover. Play dead? Play dead? Yes! Okay, up! Bang! Okay. Bang! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. That was pretty good. And those are the things Kira learned, sort of, in trick dog classes. Sort of. <laughs> So uh, I don't really want to end this vlog on this sad of a note, but you guys may have already seen it posted on our Instagram or our Facebook, but a friend of mine, uh, he, I just found out that he passed away last night. Some of you may know him as well from things we have shared of his. He lived in New York. He was from possumdogs.com. His name was Paul. I've known Paul for oh, forever since like 2013, almost since the beginning of Gone to the Snow Dogs, I think I've known Paul. And yeah, I just found out that, uh, that he passed away. He leaves behind his three Siberian Huskies, which hopefully by the time this video goes live, we will have found a home for them. But I almost wasn't gonna record any of this, but you know what, this is real life. Things like this happen. Sad things happen sometimes. We won't dwell on it. But I want everybody that's watching to do me a favor and one, snuggle your pets, snuggle your family, snuggle your friends. But also, if there's someone you've been thinking about lately, take a moment, just send them a message. Let them know you've been thinking about them. I literally just talked to Paul a week ago about this little girl right here. We was talking dog training about you, weren't we? He thought you were pretty dang amazing. He sure did. And we were talking about dog training, about you. So anyway, we're gonna end this on a super sad note, apparently. And I'm not kidding. Right now, if you're thinking about somebody, just message them. Tell them you love them. You just never know when the last time you might see them is. And again, I know, not normally the way I am on the videos. This is super sad, but this is also real life. It doesn't mean we can't stay positive about things. But sometimes, life just kicks you in the teeth, right? It just kicks you in the teeth. All right, you guys. Well, we hope you enjoyed the rest of today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Stop what you're doing right now. Stop watching this video. Pick up the phone and call a friend. Pick up the phone and call a family member. Get on your Facebook Messenger. Get on your texts. Text somebody and tell them that you love them. Hey, don't be afraid to tell the people that you know around you that you love them. Hey, speaking of, I love you guys. Like, you guys. Right here. I ain't turning the camera around because my eyes are really, really... I've been crying for way too long. <laughs> They're like, can we get a treat and go to bed or something, Mom? Like, are you okay? Maybe. Maybe not. All right. Good night, audience.